How to get the new Adopt Me Christmas egg. This is what the brand new Christmas future egg looks like in Adopt Me. To go and get this pet, I'm going to explain as it's a little bit difficult. But this isn't the only new pet that we're getting. To start off, this is the brand new legendary Fleur de Ice, which is a new legendary pet that everybody can adopt using gingerbread. This means you can go and unlock this pet completely for free without having to spend a single Robux, which is absolutely amazing. And this is purchasable for 130,000 gingerbread. In case you want to know what it actually means, it translates to ice flower, which is kind of cute to be fair. And also kind of makes sense why this pet has like all of these little branches as it's an ice flower? Let me know what you think about this design. But the next design is one that I actually really love and I wasn't expecting to love it, is this little adorable red guy. You all know that I love the color red, probably. <laughs> but this is the brand new penguin and it's going to be an ultra rare. This pet is going to cost you Robux, but the good news is I have a bunch of Robux and I like giving stuff away for free. So if you do want one, let me know and I'll go and surprise somebody with a free penguin. Apparently, they're also adding in a bunch of new toys, accessories, and fun stuff, such as this. You can get a mini Frostclaw plush, and a pretty cool looking sword, and then here is the brand new legendary pet that you can purchase. We're also getting a brand new vehicle. And be sure to remember that if you log in and claim 20 doors of the advent calendar, you will receive the special Christmas pudding pup bait a bait that will go and attract specifically only the pudding pup. This pet has unfortunately been hacked and found out what it looks like, but for legal reasons, I shall not share it with you. But you definitely don't want to miss out the opportunity, so definitely make sure that you log in and claim 20 out of the 25 advent calendar days to go and claim your lovely Christmas pudding pup bait. Definitely a good reason to log on to Roblox daily. So in two days, we're gonna get two brand new things here, and then something new here, which is probably a new vehicle, and then all of these new things as well. Honestly, there is so much new stuff coming out all at the same time, and all of these, which is cool, and all of these, bro, they are adding like so much. And then this comes out in nine days, and that comes out in 20 days, 20 days, 16 days, and nine days. So yeah, there is so much stuff planned out for this Christmas update that still remains a mystery. And to many players, what still remains a mystery is how you get this new Christmas egg. So I'm going to show you exactly how you get it and explain a little bit more in depth than what Adopt Me told you in the weekly news, as I have a bit of insider information that yes, I am allowed to share. So the brand new Christmas egg, it looks like this, it's really cool, and it only actually is hatchable from Christmas. And the good news is, you can get infinite of them. You can literally get as many of these eggs as possible, which honestly, mind blowing. I thought Adopt Me might limit it to one per person. You can get as many, that's right, you heard me correctly, as many as you want for free, which is insane. So to go and get this, you need to complete Frost Claws Fury. Now, by going and completing this, you're not guaranteed it. To go and get it, I'll explain a little bit more. So let's go and check out Frost Claws Fury. Miss Alto, Santa has shown me the reins. He's taking the back seat, so I'll be the pilot today. You have to go onto this and fly through the portal. I wonder what toys we'll be making. All right, so there's some crazy things, crazy different challenges, and you have to survive until the end. If you do not survive the whole mini game, then you will not get to keep the egg. So obviously you want to stay alive and beat the game. The longer you go and play it, the more gingerbread you earn. Not only can you win a free egg from this, you're not guaranteed it, you're also guaranteed to go and earn gingerbread. Meaning that even if you don't get the egg, you're still gonna go and get a nice significant amount of gingerbread as a reward. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how long do you have to wait in between playing games? There is no wait time. You simply press join and you're in. There is no time waiting. So you can do this straight away 
after you lose, you can play again, which is the first time Adopt Me has ever gone and done this. So this looks like floor is lava, then it looks like you have to attack the penguins, then it looks like you have to run and avoid stuff. So apparently this whole Frost Close Fury experience takes on average 15 to 20 minutes to complete. If you're able to survive the full duration and find the Christmas egg, then you get to keep it. So at one of the stages in the Frost Claws Fury, there'll be a chance to go and pick up the egg. You need to make sure that you pick up the egg at that point in the game and every single player has a chance for the egg. This means you're not all going to be competing against each other, fighting over the same egg, and everyone will have an equal chance of going and claiming the egg for free. Say you manage to go and claim the egg, but you don't manage to survive until the end of the whole game and beat Frostclaw, well, you don't get to keep the egg. The only way to keep the egg is by locating it and then finishing Frostclaw's Fury. So there's a few things that you have to do, making this a very challenging way to go and get this pretty cool looking egg, which does mean it's probably going to have a pretty decent looking pet inside and definitely a lot of value. This is the first time Adopt Me has done anything story-based that sounds this crazy, so I'm definitely excited for the pet. As for how you hatch the pet, you'll hatch it like you do with any regular pet. What you have to do is go and grab your egg and actually do the egg's tasks to go and hatch it. It does sound very exciting and definitely something to look forward to. All of these brand new items and the brand new minigame. As for the location of the minigame, you need to go right here. It will say coming soon, two days, obviously in two days this is going to be released and you can go and play this as many times as you want. The duration of this is until the end of the Christmas update, meaning you have a full one month to try and get yourself one of those things in the minigame. One thing that Adopt Me hasn't clarified is if you go and complete it after Christmas, can you still win the egg? That is not guaranteed information yet. But there will be other mini games coming back at Christmas, such as 9 days and 16 days that will also earn you gingerbread. But Adopt Me did specifically state that going and doing Frost Claws Fury will give you a greater amount than you would possibly earn by going and playing the Pet Rescue minigame, which means you must be getting at least least a minimum of 3,000 gingerbread since that is the maximum amount that players can earn from the pet rescue. I'm excited, I'll be making a walkthrough on how you can survive and how to fully locate the egg once it's released. But as for now, that's all the information that we have about the brand new update. If you want to see me go and trade a Mega Neon Chocolate Chip Cookie Bat Dragon, click this video right here to watch. And like this video and subscribe if you want one of those penguins for free.